we're all familiar with the tales and have watched all the detectives on television. Very few things in society are more fascinating than those who have staged their own deaths. Throughout history, several famous people have pretended to pass away to avoid living in the public eye or to get away from a life of crime. Let's look at some of the famous people who faked their deaths and got caught. Number 10. Marcus Schrenker Schrenker, a financial advisor from Indiana, was embroiled in several legal, economic, and marital issues when he decided to fake his death. Schrenker's actions were motivated by his desire to escape from his difficulties. In 2009, investors claimed to a judge that Schrenker had fraudulently withdrawn money from their accounts, charged them exorbitant fees, and faked their signature signatures on investment paperwork. In the month of January 2011, Schrenker flew his plane out of an airport in Indiana bound for a destination in Florida. Law enforcement officials could identify that Schrenker jumped out of the plane and parachuted while flying over Alabama because they discovered cut lines and tree branches in a parachute that could be linked back to Schrenker. In the end, law enforcement discovered Schrenker hiding away at a campsite in Florida. Schrenker ultimately admitted that he had planned for the jet to crash and faked a distress call to air traffic control. He entered a guilty plea to the charges of destroying an aircraft and causing the Coast Guard to respond while he was not helping. As a result, he was sentenced to 51 months in jail. Number 9. Samuel Israel III During the 1990s, when technology companies were on the rise, Israel's company, Bayou Funds made a killing by investing in those stocks. Despite this, Israel was unable to recover millions of dollars from investors. To cover up the loss, he invented a fake account business and had it examine the company's financial records. In the end, Israel developed an addiction to opioids. It sought out mysterious persons for guidance, encouraging to breach the law. After admitting guilty to his scams, he was finally sentenced to a prison term of 20 years. Israel pretended to have committed suicide to get out of serving the remainder of his time in prison. He did this by writing the phrase, suicide is painless on the back of his automobile and leaving it parked at Bear Mountain. After triggering an international manhunt and eventually turning himself in, he did so in 2008. Number 8. Timothy Dexter if you lived in the early 1800s Massachusetts, you would have known Timothy Dexter. Despite dropping out of school at the age 8, he became one of Boston's wealthiest men. He never entered high society since money can buy culture. He only wanted the spotlight and started calling himself a lord. After years of criticism, he decided to find out how everyone felt about him. He faked his death and planned an elaborate funeral. He watched the presentation from his estate and noted that his pals weren't as sad as he expected. He traveled across time to attend his own funeral but never achieved the social status he craved. Number 7. John Stonehouse In the 1970s, this former member of the Parliament of the United Kingdom fabricated his own death in Miami. He desired to begin a new life with his mistress, but he was involved in a string of fraudulent businesses at the time. He said he had drowned in Miami to get away and travel to Australia using the alias Joseph Markham. The consequences of his actions eventually led to his capture by the authorities, who brought him back to Britain the following year. He was sent behind bars for a brief period before being freed after being proven guilty. Number 6. Igor Vortanov Igor Vortanov's case is widely considered to be one of the most high-profile examples of a death that was staged in the recent past. In 2010, this man from Minnesota purchased coverage on his own life through an insurance company. It was stated that police in his home nation of Moldova identified a deceased body as that of Veritanov, which resulted in a payout of $2 million to the family from their insurance policy. Even a funeral or memorial service was performed by his family in his honor after he passed away. Only three years later, the FBI got information suggesting that he had staged his own death and was currently living under a different identity in Ukraine. Ukraine. The son was arrested in 2015 when federal agents discovered new images on the laptop belonging to the son. Number 5. Alexander I of Russia There are instances in which a staged death doesn't come to light for years or even centuries. That is, until historians uncover fresh evidence that contradicts the previous interpretation in subsequent years. In recent times, there have been a significant amount of speculation over the passing of Tsar Alexander I. 
Although he was brought up by his grandmother, Catherine the Great, there's a persistent urban legend that he faked his own death in 1982 by faking a case of typhus. Researchers in Russia are currently examining the handwriting of Alexander I and that of a monk named Fedor Kuzmich. There has been talking that these two individuals are indeed the same person. Still, only DNA testing can definitively establish or disprove that hypothesis. Number 4. Belle Guinness She is arguably the most infamous celebrity of the early 20th century to have perpetrated a hoax over her own demise. It's believed that during her lifetime, she was responsible for the deaths of anywhere from 40 to 180 individuals, earning her the moniker Lady Bluebeard. She wanted to avoid going to jail, so she faked her own death by setting herself on fire. Her hired hand asserted that she made it out of the situation unscathed, despite the fact that it appeared as though she had passed on after spending a lifetime murdering those who crossed her path. In spite of the fact that the body on the property was discovered without its head, he argued that it belonged to the housekeeper. People from around the United States claimed to have seen her in public for several years. Number 3. Jacquard Delay you're likely familiar with Jacques Delay if you're a fan of pirates. This infamous pirate queen took on the life of a pirate in order to support herself and her younger brother. She navigated the open ocean without fear, but this did not mean that she did not face any difficulties along the route. She had to pretend to be dead in order to get away after she was captured. He concealed her true identity by disguising himself as a guy for some time. She got back together with her famed crew and went back to living a life of piracy. She continued to have a career and was considered one of the most successful pirates in the 17th century. Her brush with mortality resulted in the infamous moniker Back from the Dead Red, which was a play on her hair color at the time. Number 2. Dr. Augusto Gallego Although it's possible that this Colombian did not stage his own death, he's rumored to have assisted well-known drug lords in staging their own deaths for several years. After a man whom Dr. Gallego had proclaimed dead was discovered alive in the Caribbean in 2010, the police began to focus their attention on him. In addition to this, it was found that he assisted the drug kingpin Camillo Torres Martinez in creating a false death for himself. He put his training and position as a medical expert to use by forging death certificates and assisting others in the difficult process of dealing with the aftermath of a death. Even though he claimed that he was the victim of a frame-up, he was ultimately taken into custody for his fraudulent operations. It's come to light that many individuals have been discovered to assist others in fabricating their deaths. Nonetheless, he's the first doctor to be implicated in this practice. Number 1. William Groth he gained a great deal of notoriety after faking his own death and then claiming that he was the person who had killed him. He pretended to be a murderer when he called the police and told them he had slain another person. To bolster his tale, his vehicle was discovered abandoned in a park in Nashville. His things were strewn near a house and along the riverbank. After discovering his million dollar life insurance policy, he was arrested and handed five years of probation. It's not a crime to fake your own death even though he wasted a lot of money looking for him. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to check our other videos. Be sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.